Good morning, everyone. It's Monday, August 28th, 2017, and I hope everyone is having a beautiful day in the Lord. I have a couple of devotionals for you today, but first, I would like to say the Our Father, so please join me. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Thank you, Father, for another day that we can serve you. Thank you so much for your Holy Communion and for your love and your peace and your joy and all the wonderful things that you are, that you give to us. Um, we wait patiently, Father, for you to come and take us home. We love you so much. Bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. Okay. Um, I have um, I have a lot of words that the Lord gave me yesterday. He actually gave me, uh, within the last 24 hours, he gave me four different words. And uh, I'm just putting it all together now. So I'll be putting up a message uh, hopefully soon from the Father. Okay, um, this one is called God's Changelessness. And the reading is from Malachi 3 6. I am the Lord, I do not change. In his book, Knowing God, Dr. J.I. Packer tells us that Bible study helps us because the God who interacted with the characters of Scripture is the same God who cares for us today. Uh, the God with whom that they had to do is the same God with whom we have to do, wrote Packer. For God does not change in the least particular. His character does not change. His truth does not change. His ways do not change. His purposes do not change. God does not change, said Packer. Fellowship with him, trust in his word, living by faith, standing on the promises of God, are essentially the same realities for us today as they were for the Old and the New Testament believers. This thought brings comfort as we enter into the perplexities of each day. Yeah, we lose sight of that, that when we hear from our Father in heaven, um, it's the same small voice that the prophets of um, the Bible heard. So, you know, the Lord is there all through the ages and the generations. It's the same God. You can count on this. It, it's as predictable as God himself. He is unchanging. Jesus is the same yesterday, today, and forever. And we can read about that in Hebrews 13.8. Henry Thiessen says, All change must be to the better or to the worse. But God cannot change to the better since he is absolutely perfect. Neither can he change to the worse for the same reason. And this next one is called Belonging to Jesus. And the reading is from Revelation 7 verse 3. Do not harm the earth, the sea, or the trees till we have sealed the servants of our God on their foreheads. Occasionally, we see a magazine article or television show that features pets and their owners who actually look alike. Or couples who have lived together for decades, they can finish one another's sentences. When we see them together, we think those two just naturally belong together. Something similar was said about some of the apostles in Jerusalem after Pentecost. When the local Jewish authorities heard the power and boldness of Peter's preaching, quotes, they realized that the apostles had been with Jesus. You can read about that in Acts 4.13. It should be obvious to those around us that we have been with him as well. 
that we and Jesus belong together. The world will see that happen during the tribulation when 144,000 Jews are saved by God to be witnesses for Jesus during that tumultuous period on earth. They will actually receive some sort of seal on their foreheads, making it obvious that they belong to God and not to the Antichrist. When people look at you today, will they know whom you belong? This is why I spoke in other sermons about how you're presented to the world. Okay, ladies, if you have tons of makeup on and crazy kind of hair, okay, and you're spouting Bible, you lose credibility. I'm sorry, because it's not just not. The Lord would not want to project you that way, okay? And the same thing if you're getting drunk or if you're cursing or making sexual remarks and lustful comments. It's a contradiction to who God is. See, the Lord, um, the, the, the manifestation of the new man, the new creation, is obviously seen in God's children. Um, so you need to ask God to fill you with a fresh, a fill you afresh with his spirit that you might become more like Jesus today. There's still hope, you know, if, if you're doing things that are not really in the will of the father, you can always learn, um, uh, you know, and just, you do that by, by wanting to know what the father wants for you. And that comes by seeking him. Um, you can read about that in Romans 8, 29, to become more like Jesus. And uh, John R. W. Sott uh, quotes, However holy or Christ-like a Christian may become, he is still in the condition of being changed. Yeah, because it's not made perfect until we resurrect. So every uh, person who is in the body of Christ is going to have some kind of imperfections or um, unchristlike uh, characteristic traits being shown, but it doesn't mean that they're not on their way, okay? And um, you know, it's up it's up to us to point out things to convict um, other Christians of their sinful behavior, so that they can make a change. Because most times. Um, uh, we walk and we have amnesia about certain things because we're still in this fallen world. And that's one of Satan's hallmark um, traits is to give, um, uh, to fog out the minds of God's children so that they become a walking contradiction to the father because his whole job is to discredit God's children and make them hypocrites. So um, on that note, I'll say have a beautiful day in the Lord. I love these devotionals today. I think they're powerful. And I hope that um, they edify you and uh, you learn something from them. So have a beautiful day in the Lord, people. I love you. Jesus loves you. Never forget how much he loves you. He died for you. And uh, we're all under construction and on our way to that day when we resurrect and become just like Jesus Christ, perfect in his righteousness to stand before the Father and live eternity with him in heaven. God bless everyone.